got a trip coming up and you're trying to decide what curly hair products and accessories to take with you, especially if you're going hand luggage or carry-on only, this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing my curly hair travel essentials, how I prep my hair before I go away, how I maintain my curls while I am away, and a little hack for you that means you don't have to fit all of your travel products into one of these little bags. So let's go ahead. First up, what I put in my curly hair travel kit. I think we can all agree that the most difficult part of traveling with curly hair products is when you're going hand luggage or carry on only because it means that you have to fit all of your liquids into one of these little bags so you can't just take anything with you so I'm going to be focusing my tips on going hand luggage only. You're going to want to bring a selection of products and accessories on your trip but you need to think very strategically so you don't end up overpacking things that you're not going to need or forgetting things that you will need. Some things to think about are how often if at all are you going to wash your hair so will you need to bring shampoo is it going to be cold and dry will you need to take extra curl cream or a thicker curl cream is it going to be super humid so will you need a stronghold gel are you going to be spending a lot of time in the sea the pool or in the sun so will you need a protectant spray and are you likely to wear different hairstyles or are you just going to be wearing your hair down because you might want to take a few different accessories okay now let's take a look at the things that I take now I don't take all of these on every every single trip, it can differ depending on the things that I just mentioned and there may be things that you don't need to take with you that I take and vice versa. First up is shampoo, I like to just take one of these and fill it with the amount of shampoo that I'll need for my trip. Because I'm probably only going to be washing my hair like once, maximum twice while I'm away, I like to take a shampoo with me that is going to clarify my hair, remove build up when I do wash my hair. On this trip I'm taking the Umberto Giannini Scalp Restore which you guys know I love. When I'm going on a hand luggage only trip, I will always take a multitasking conditioner. This is the Curlsmith multitasking conditioner and you can use it as a leave-in, a rinse out conditioner and a deep conditioner. So it's a really good one to take away with you. This one is always in my travel bag whenever I'm going away. Because I'm taking a multitasking conditioner that can be used as a leave-in conditioner, I'm not going to be taking a curl cream with me because that is going to save space in my liquids bag. Next up is a travel size stronghold gel and one of my favorites to take is the curl smith shine gel i will use a stronghold gel on my wash day before i go away and then i'll use this to refresh with while i'm away or i may wash my hair while i'm away and in that case i will need a stronghold gel stronghold gel is particularly needed if you want your hair to last maximum days and also if you're going to go into a humid climate so that is going in my travel bag Next up is a protectant spray, and this is the Curlsmith Miracle Shield Protectant Spray. It protects against UV, chlorine, salt water, all of the things that you wanna protect your hair from when you are on a hot holiday. I'm not gonna take it on my trip that I'm packing for now because I'm going on a city break. I may just use it before I go away, but when I do take this one, hand luggage only, I will decant it into a smaller container, or this one actually also does come now in a travel size. So this is the amount of space that my hair products take up. I like to pack them very strategically because remember, I also have to fit other liquids in here. So I'm also gonna need to pack all my skincare and my makeup in here. So I don't wanna take too many hair products with me on this trip. This is a really tatty bag, I'm sorry. It's literally the only one I had for my last trip. Now we are on to accessories. And first up is a silk or satin pillowcase. I always take one or two with me if I'm going on a trip that is about a week, one if I'm going on a shorter trip. I really like this particular one because it has a little travel pouch that you can fold the pillowcase up and put it inside so it will protect it while it's in your case. Next up is a travel diffuser. Now I will either take the Bellissima diffuser which is a mini diffuser dryer all in one because it is quite small but it depends if you prefer to have more luggage space for clothes, shoes. Sometimes I'll take this but my preference is really just to take a diffuser head because most of the places that I stay do have a hair dryer in even if it's one of those awful ones with a wire on the wall. And sometimes you won't even be able to use these in other countries as well because you may not have the right plug adapter. So I always just take one of these collapsible diffuser heads. This one is just a really cheap one from Amazon. You can get lots of different ones at Universal. I like this one because it does have quite a lot of stretch but it doesn't fit on all of the dryers. But even if it doesn't fit on the dryer, I'll just hold my hair in it and hold the dryer 
there. Or if worse comes to worse and you really can't get on with these or you don't have a travel diffuser, you can literally just cup your hair and hold the dryer and that will dry it more gently than just blasting it with the hair dryer. A hairbrush. I always take a hairbrush with me if I'm planning on washing my hair while I'm on a trip because one, it speeds up detangling time, which means I won't be wasting valuable holiday time detangling my hair. And two, if I'm going to be styling my hair, it helps me brush style my hair for longer lasting results. You can get smaller travel size hairbrushes as well. I just don't have one, but that is a really good tip if you don't want to take up valuable space in your luggage. A selection of hair accessories. So I usually put my hair accessories in one of these little bags. I just find it keeps them all together in my luggage. So I'll take some bigger clips, some smaller clips, a satin scrunchie, invisible ball style scrunchie, these kind of little ones in case I want to do some hairstyles and something I don't have in here, some bobby pins. And something else that can come in handy for those days when you need to wash your hair that you haven't is a headband like this one. I'll obviously take more than I've got in here but that's just a selection of the kind of hair accessories that I take. Next up is a silk or satin scarf or a bonnet. So my preference of the two would be a scarf because it's more multifunctional, you can use it for a variety of things so you're not going to be wasting space in your luggage. If you're going on a longer flight for example then you may want something to protect your hair so you can either protect your hair by tying it up in the scarf or something that I actually did on a long haul flight earlier this year was wrap the scarf around the pillow and then that way when I did try to sleep you aren't causing excess friction and frizz on your hair. I also wear my hair up while I'm on an airplane because that protects it. You can use it for protecting your hair on the beach as well around the pool you can use it for hairstyles so yeah very versatile taking a scarf with you. A curl towel or if you don't want to take a curl towel with you because you don't want to use up space you can literally just use one of your t-shirts that you took with you and finally an empty spray bottle you can fill this with water while you're away to refresh your curls to cool yourself down if you're going somewhere hot you can get smaller spray bottles if you find that you really like to have that mist spray obviously if you're refreshing your hair you can just use your hands under the tap and just wet your hair that way that is what I like to do so I don't take up space in my case next up is how I prep my hair before I travel so I always wash my hair the day or the night before I go on my trip and I always use products that are tried and tested that I know work for me and most importantly give me results that I know will last and when you are prepping your hair the day before don't try anything new just stick to a tried and tested routine products and techniques that you know work well for you and help give you the best results possible. One of my absolute holy grail combinations that gives me long lasting hold is the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm, Volume Foam and In Shower Style Fixer. And then I'll put a little bit of the hairspray over the top as well just for extra hold, humidity protection and all that good stuff. I will also use an oil at the end of my wash day and to really protect the nape of my neck because I'm going to be obviously traveling a lot. I'm going to be having my head back on the plane and I don't want to create any extra friction and breakage back there. And also just sealing with an oil will help lock the moisture into your hair and help your wash day last a bit longer as well. But be sure not to use it too much if you have finer hair or low porosity hair because it can wear your hair down and make it look a little bit stringy which you definitely don't want when you are on holiday. And then the day of travel, if I feel like my hair needs a little bit of a refresh after sleeping on my hair, I will give it a quick like five minute refresh before I head out the door. I may do like a quick gel refresh like put a bit of gel and water on my hands glaze it over scrunch it in two minutes diffusing out the door and this will just help add extra hold to my hair help it hold in place while I'm out and about while I'm walking around in the day also while I'm on the plane it will help hold my curls in place but to maintain my curls throughout my trip there are various things that I do and these are just things that I do anyway to maintain my curls throughout the wash week first up is protecting my hair overnight so I've got my silk pillowcase I tie my hair up in my overnight pineapple bun which helps protect my hair another way that I maintain my hair while I'm away is to refresh it on a trip earlier in the year, I went hand luggage only and I just refreshed with gel each day. But for you, if your hair gets very dry between wash days, then maybe taking a curl cream and refreshing with a curl cream is what your hair will need because maybe it needs a bit more moisture. As well as protecting my hair at night and on the plane, I'll protect it from any bad weather. If it's going to be really windy or rainy that day, I'm not going to be wearing my hair down. I will wear it up in a messy bun that will protect my hair or I'll just put it in a ponytail. There's plenty of updos that you can 
can do that will make your curls still look nice while protecting them. I think it's also important to embrace your curls and understand that your hair isn't going to look good every single day. You know that your hair evolves between wash days, it changes from day to day, some days it may be a bit more frizzy, some days it may be a bit more flat. There's only so much that you can do to keep your curls looking good. If you're having a bad hair day and you're not liking your hair, put it in some plaits, put it in a messy bun, wear it up. You don't want your curls to take over your entire holiday. Prepping my hair before I go helps me minimise the amount of stuff that I need to do to my hair while I'm there, but sometimes you do just need to wash your hair if it has product build up, if it's feeling greasy, or if you've been away for more than a few days. So if I feel like I need to wash my hair and I've got the products to do so, then I will do that. My hair felt really dry and producty, so it really needed clarifying. So after shampooing and conditioning, I used the Curlsmith Multitasking Conditioner as my leave-in, rate it through to distribute, then I gave it a little brush and a scrunch and a shake to form some curl clumps and then I went in with the shine gel. I mixed it with water under the tap off camera to loosen it and make it easier to distribute and then I just glazed it over my hair, scrunched it in, flipped forward, then I flipped upright and scrunched it side to side as well. Then I attempted to fit the diffuser onto the hotel dryer. This was quite stressful, it kept falling off. I ended up drying the roots first with the dryer, then I held the diffuser at my hair and held the dryer next to the diffuser to let the air flow go through. I really needed to dry my hair because it got so long that air drying was just not an option. It was just so all over me. But it turned out pretty well in the end. I was actually very happy with these results after a stressful wash day, but I won't be doing that again because this is what kept happening every time I put the diffuser on the dryer. It just kept falling off. Drop your travel diffuser wrecks below. Next up is a little hack for you so you don't have to fit all of your liquids into one tiny bag when traveling hand luggage only. And it's literally collecting your products once you've gone through security, not just buying them when you're at security because you don't always know what's going to be there. You can actually do a click and collect order, so I'm not sure how it works in other countries but in the UK at airports we always have a Boots pharmacy which has a selection of like hair products, skin products, everything that you would need to take on holiday with you and you can basically just do a click and collect order to collect it from the airport Boots past security and that way you can maximise the liquids that you can take on holiday with you. So those are all of my curly hair travel essentials and travel tips. Let me know if you found this video helpful and let me know in the comments what your curly hair travel essentials are. Is there anything that I missed? What do you have to take with you when you are traveling? And let me know if you've got any hacks as well. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.